G'day guys, welcome to the Garage Formosa. My name is Daryl. I'm Jay. And uh, this is Series 1, Episode 1. Um, we'll do a quick overview of um, what we want to be doing for this channel. Um, so mostly DIYs, a lot of DIYs for most of the cars we've got around here. A um, few adventures in there. Um, what kind of cars do you have, Jack? Go! Alright, uh, now that there's a cyclone upon us, it's the perfect time to go outside to do a bit of filming. I'm pretty sure that's how the big wigs do it. So, uh, first up, this is my Peugeot 306 GTI 6. Uh, they're kind of a cool car. I absolutely love, love hot hatches. Um, despite this one didn't really look that interesting, it did have, or does have, 123 kilowasps, uh, 6 speed manual, 2 litre, no turbo. Turbo would be uh, awesome, but they wanted the uh, the sounds. So uh, it's a bit rough. I'm going to say a bit rough. It's very rough. Uh, there's a bit of paint left on there. A little bit here, a little bit here. Uh, some overspray, but uh, it doesn't look like it's ever been painted. They're pretty cool. They had a uh, kind of bucket seats. You know, a, a little bit of faux leather. But uh, there's plenty of things I want to do to it. Um, the head does need to come off. The it's very common on these timing belt snaps. Um, valves and pistons come for a meeting, and nothing comes of it good. Apparently, they did um, rebuild the cylinder head, but it is very, very tender. So I don't think it has been. So I might do a video on that. I've done a lot of work on this and it still looks like this. But it's alright, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Yeah. Oh man, that can be nice. We'll go to a better car. My baby. I absolutely love Evo 6s, which is why I bought an Evo 8. Because that's what you do. Uh, there's plenty of things I want to do to it. There's a few things I have done to it. Put, put the uh, factory, pretty much. Um, now it's got Oland's coilovers, which are so good. Um, despite it breaking my back anywhere I ever go, I still love them. Uh, three inch turbo back stainless. Um, stainless manifold. Uh, a few little bits and pieces done here and there. Bit of a bit of a stezza. Um, you know, I, I, there'll be plenty more on it. It does need to be tuned. It leaves black marks everywhere it goes. It uh, soots up like a diesel. But that adds to the enjoyment. It is horrendous on fuel. Unbelievably bad. But it adds to the character. Love it. There's, gonna, there's definitely going to be videos on this uh, tune. There's plenty of videos on Evos, but... There's still going to be more. Screw it. I love it. Um, now we get to the other grey import. It's black. It's a Mazda. It's rear wheel drive. It has a large Garrett turbo. It's old. Grey import. Two door. There is obviously only one car this can be, and I think you know, is a 1988 Mazda Titan. Um, only ever intended to house Japanese heads, because my, I'm not tall and my head hits the roof. It is a complete nugget, it's got weight saving rust, it's incredibly rough, so rough. I bought this at auction and I regret so much. But it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Um, the next car I suppose we'll go to is my daily. It's a Volvo. Uh, yeah, it's a Volvo. Most interesting thing about it, 2.4 litres or 5 cylinder turbo fury. It can get you to 0 to 100 in some sort of seconds. Whatever they are, there's a lot of them. Um, even the gods are angered by how slow this car is. But you know, it's comfortable. 
Um, it was safe back in 1999. It might still be. It's got, it's got some airbags. It's got a lot of damage. I don't know what the previous owners did, but it is a Volvo, so uh, they probably just sideswiped someone. Um, I do have a 1995 GSR Lancer. Um, there is a few videos that are going to be on that. Anyone that's had a, a uh, GSR Lancer, Evo 1 to 3, uh, RVR, all that sort of stuff, will know that they are prime for rust. The old uh, roof turret needs to be replaced. I do have a carbon fiber one that I bought some time ago and I keep putting it off. But I will be doing that. Uh, I might be doing it in a video. There's plenty of other things I need to do on it. The interior is so mouldy. This water gets in and it just sits in there. The steering wheel's worn apart. A lot of things that need to be done, but it's still a pretty cool car. I'm not going to be doing an Evo conversion, like 4G63 conversion. I'll just keep rocking the 4G93. Um, because, yeah, there's actually not that many GSRs with the factory engine. Like, most of them are either crushed or Evo conversions. And I'm incredibly cheap. So that won't be happening. And I do have a 1973 Valiant Galant, also known as a Mitsubishi Galant. Um, it is so rough. It's a 1973 model, but it's been a rally car since 1975, from what I've been told. And when you look at it, you know that it's been a, a rally cross car for a long time. Because there's a lot of damage. There's not much straight. Uh, it's still got a cage, it's the only thing keeping it uh, looking like a vehicle. But uh, I might do a bit on that, or uh, it might rust away to nothing by the time I get around to that. The next vehicle. It's excellent in every way, because it is a larder. And it's a larder, and here we have the star of the video. Well, the Niva. It was a uh, pretty cool car, pretty important car back in the day, mainly for Eastern Europe. I was mostly in Australia for shooting rigs and people on farms. They did sell quite a few here, but most of them were shooting rigs and on farms, so there's uh, not many. Uh, this was a shooting rig car on a farm, I'm pretty sure, because there's been some animals living in here and there's been a lot of shells. But um, I love these cars, they're just cool. They're, you know, made for Siberia, not suburbia. Battery goes flat, just hand crank it. Break your wrist and hand crank it. Um, but pretty, plenty of cool stuff. Um, these things are awesome off-road. Yeah, your mate's land cruiser might be better, but is it Russian? No. So, uh, they make no power. Um, they weren't intended for power, they weren't intended for safety. There's two bolts holding each seat in. That is how little they were thinking of human lives. But, uh, you know, when you're in the 1980s and 1970s in Soviet Russia, safety is the least of your worries. But um, they definitely need more power. A lot of people do the twin cam Fiat engine. I would love to do that. Uh, not many left. And they're getting a bit rare. It seems a shame to pull out a perfectly good uh, low powered engine. I do have a backup in case it all goes cock up. But did you think about doing the injection conversion? Did you think about the turbo? I thought I've had a plenty of turbos. Supercharge this bad boy. Why not? So we'll do the supercharger. Plenty of others. I want to do a uh, full lift. Um, they, they sell everything for these cars. They're still so popular and they still look like this and they still sell them brand new. Not in this country, unfortunately. Uh, no airbags, left hand drive. Definitely will not pass our safety regulations. But there's plenty of things I want to do on it. Um, they still sell everything for these things. You, just, you, you want that washer, they'll sell it. You want the nut that holds that grill on, that badge on, they sell it. People love these things. That's the neighbor. Let's get into it. All right, so this is the kit. It's a, uh, try to keep in mind that it is a relatively cheap kit, but you, you don't really want to put a big Vortec on there. So it's about 500 pound, and depending on when you buy it and all that sort of stuff. The intake pipe. Unfortunately, you can only get it with uh, numerous silicon hoses, uh, which, Sucks a little bit, but you know, it is cheap. Eventually I'd like to change it, have a solid piece. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a knockoff. Feels alright, but you know, it's cheap. 
I did already have the top hat because it was cheaper to get that than a factory one, which was incredibly expensive. So that's the uh, supercharger. I did find out a little bit of information from them from um, Lada Moscow. They are made in Russia in St. Petersburg. They don't have their own website and they don't really sell sort of their own stuff. You, you, you buy it from places like Lada Moscow. But it is Russian, it's not Chinese. The, uh, the kit's not bad. They do have a kit for pretty much any Lada imaginable. And um, they do sell just the supercharger themselves if you want to put it on whatever else. They don't put out much. This was 8 psi because it's the Carby one. And you can also get another one that's about 12 psi. Um, if you put this to injection, you can put it on there, or if you want to do some more interesting stuff with the Carby. You know, like the, uh, the balancing job is pretty rough. It is just some dude with a mill. But other people have run this for sort of significant time with no ill effects. Um, you get a sort of generic air filter. Nothing too interesting. A miniature air filter. Probably for some sort of breather hose somewhere. And a series of pulleys. Because you do have to change to a different fan belt for the supercharger. So it's got all the various pulleys and a couple of brackets. It should change everything. And then a new front case cover because it's got extra pulley for the supercharger. Um, oil filter. I did already have one of these so I know that these uh, do wear out quite quickly. So that's uh, probably six months to a year we started to crack. But I mean it's, it's one silicon hose so you can change it. Then the other part of the kit, which is optional, but it is very, very, very much recommended, is the sports carburetor. They have a few different carbies, but this one is the one intended for supercharging. Licensed by Solex, made in Russia. So, it should be a good thing. All right. The linkage, the uh, cable, and a couple of gaskets, and the uh, spacer. They also do recommend the camshaft upgrade, although I didn't. Probably down the track if it doesn't blow up. But this should be enough to get it going anyway. And they do greatly recommend to put an electric fuel pump in, which I have started to do at least. Apart from that, just throw it in. Next episode on Garage Formosa. In goes the supercharger. Oh yeah.